my name is Helen Sung and I'm a jazz pianist, composer and educator and today we're going to talk about that amazing digit, the thumb. I think sometimes the thumb gets a bad rap, you know that phrase, all thumbs. It's actually so important to this amazing creation, the human hand. I think it's perfectly designed for playing the piano, but the thumb can pose some special problems sometimes. Now, I believe when you play the piano, you want to be able to get around fairly easily. This enables you to play slow tempos and really lightning fast ones. So we have to discuss the special digit. How do we handle the thumb when we're getting around on the keyboard? So the lateral motion is very important. What I mean by that is the side to side, side to side motion of your hands. Now, when we talk about the thumb crossing over, crossing under, this motion is very important. In playing the piano, your thumb either crosses under your hand or your hand crosses over your thumb. When I was taking piano lessons as a kid, I remember my piano teacher saying, when you cross your thumb under your hand, think about how you park a car in the garage. You don't press your foot on the gas pedal and accelerate, you kind of ease into the garage, right? Because it's a small space and you don't have much of it. So the same when you're crossing under, it's not a jerky, quick motion, it's smooth. You see it's almost immediate. Once the thumb has played, it's on its way into the garage. Now when your hand crosses over your thumb, that's where the more of the lateral motion that I talked about comes into play. We talked about economy of motion, that's very important here. Sometimes I'll have students who get overzealous. That might work at that tempo, but when you're playing faster, that can become a hindrance. So remember, the lateral motion, it has economy of motion. So scales, we demonstrated how the thumb has to cross under or the hand has to cross over, is the same for arpeggios. As you know, music is a combination of scales and arpeggios. And so let's take this tune by Charlie Parker the great alto saxophonist, his composition called Donna Lee. It has a lot of scales, a lot of arpeggios, and apply the concepts we've learned today about our thumb. <laughs> 